As soon as humans are old enough to grasp the concept of outer space, we immediately begin to wonder what, or who, might be out there. Our brains are designed to be masterful pattern completion machines, and the unknown mystery of alien existence pulls many of us in like moths to a flame. The discovery of life forms that evolved on another planet would be groundbreaking for science, and especially biology, which has so far progressed with only a single instance of life to study. But while we are looking for other intelligent beings that occupy our universe, we seem to ignore the nearly infinite supply of intelligent forms that exist right here on our planet. If we cannot recognize the intelligence of beings that live right alongside us, how can we expect to recognize intelligent extraterrestrials? And I don't just mean human-like intelligence that we see emulated in chimps, rodents, cephalopods, or crows. I'm talking about a kind of intelligence that humans overlook, like the amazing capacity that plants have to photosynthesize, a highly efficient energy transfer based on quantum superposition, or the truly insane and coordinated precision that it takes to organize a hundred trillion cells into a functional multicellular organism. As Alan Watts puts it, the linear, step-by-step, contrast-by-contrast procedure of conscious attention is quite inadequate for organizing anything so complex as a living body. The body itself has an omniscience, which is unconscious or superconscious, just because it deals with relation instead of contrast, with harmonies rather than discords. And we can see this unconscious form of intelligence not just in every plant, animal, and bacterium, but in the organizational patterns of governments, corporations, and societies. In this sense, the whole planet is a single organism, conveying itself in an endless variety of expressive forms, all working together to make a superconscious organism which we can only struggle to understand. This is exactly the way that our body works, as an integrated structure composed of trillions of single cells that come in a thousand different types, all of which cooperate, compete, and live alongside each other, while blissfully unaware of the unified consciousness that is currently watching this video and thinking that it runs the whole show. I say all of this not to avoid the question of intelligent extraterrestrials, but to redefine the question entirely. Perhaps we should be less focused on finding humanoid beings that communicate through our conception of language or mathematics, and more focused on understanding the innate intelligence that seems to imbue the universe with organization and purpose at every conceivable level of existence. When we use this framework of perception, the universe is suddenly teeming with alien life, since planets and stars and solar systems can all be considered as individual living organisms that simply do not express their living essence in the form of protein and nucleic acid-based life. Certainly, extraterrestrial biological organisms that were recognizably living to us would be fascinatingly different than what we know of, but they would be the same as us in the sense that we would be family. Perhaps not in the ways that we are related to chimps, bananas, or bacteria, but in the ways that we are related to the planet that our bodies are continuously made from, and the stars that our constituent atoms were forged in. A being born on another planet would be nothing more than a distant relative to us compared with terrestrial organisms. Seeing things this way makes it clear that even two humans are aliens to one another. Each of our perspectives is a universe in its own right, teeming with infinitesimal internal dimensions. We are so focused on finding intelligence in outer space that we have forgotten the vastness of our inner space. Why spend your life trying to make contact with intelligent aliens when there are billions of them all around you and even inside of you? Attempting to traverse the expansive reaches of the universe is a noble goal but we should devote at least as much time and effort investigating our internal universes and bridging the immeasurably large gaps that exist between our perspectives.